What is going on, guys? Kel Mark with TheEasiestBusiness.com. It has been a while. Uh, I'm glad to be back in my new house. Still don't have my office set up, so I'm sorry if it looks like crap in here. But let's make another video. Um, $99 bid library is up, is active. Do have subscribers to it. Go subscribe to that right now, TheEasiestBusiness.com slash bid dash library. I have the full course on there. You can learn for $99 a month. You can unsubscribe whenever you want to. And I upload one to two bids per month on there. And any any access you have to me, um, you know, is available with that subscription as well. So go do that right now and let's get right into the video. So what I want to talk to you guys about today is when I use like linear foot pricing, when I use square foot pricing, and when I use unit figure pricing, mainly focusing on unit figure pricing. So when is unit figure pricing, uh, you know, a thing? Or when is it appropriate to use and when is it not appropriate to use? So for example, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say unit figure pricing, I'm not talking about pricing you know, the square footage of the house. I'm not talking about doing walls like that. I'm mainly talking about doing stuff that you would count individually and then you would just have a price for that and you would multiply it by the number of items on a job. For example, if I had a price for every door, I would count 20 doors on a job and I would multiply it by the price and that's how I would know what to charge. Now for doors, you can do it a little bit uh, backwards. You can actually use the square footage since it is a door seven by three, both sides. You can kind of calculate a square foot price and make that your unit figure price. So we won't focus on doors today, but I'm talking about things like a roof ladder and a roof hatch on a commercial job, on a take five oil change, uh, you know, on something like that, a Mavis discount tires. I'm talking about bollards out in parking lots, the yellow bollards like at, at Walmart, you know, um, you can't really lay those out by the square footage. You can, but that takes a lot more math. You can take the, you know, the height of the bollard um, times the diameter and you can get your square footage. But who wants to sit there and do that all day? I'd rather just say 50 bucks a bollard and count those. So some examples on some things that I use unit figure pricing for is like a roof ladder, um, you know, bollards, anything like that. Uh, maybe door frames. Those are those are harder to lay out by the square foot. You can lay out doors and, and get a price that way. Um, and just miscellaneous items like downspouts, gutters and downspouts. Gutters you could do by the linear foot, downspouts being the vertical portions of the gutter system. I would just count those and do 150 bucks a gutter or something like that. So basically my tip to you guys is anytime that it's going to be uh, less effective to sit there and do math all day, uh, that's when I would use a unit figure price. So I'll use a unit figure price anytime. It's better just to say, hey, you know what? We'll throw 500 bucks on this gas meter right here on this electrical box to paint. Uh, we know we'll make money off of it. We know we can cover material and it's quicker just to do that than it is to sit there and try to lay it all out all for 200 bucks, you know? Let's just throw 500 bucks on it. Let's just throw 250 bucks on it and let's move on. When it becomes more efficient to do that than it does to actually sit there and figure it out, um, that's when I use unit figure pricing. So for things like walls, we're gonna use square footage pricing. For things like ceiling, square footage pricing. Uh, for things like baseboards, trim, all that good stuff, we're gonna use linear foot pricing. And if you subscribe to the $99 bid library, we have pricing discussion videos in there as well. So I hope this video helped you guys. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. I'm still working on trying to get a less busy schedule so I can get a couple of other trades on the channel. That's still something I want to do. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful 2023. Hope you guys are crushing it. Reach out if you have any questions. Thanks.